Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial video. Today we are in Adobe Audition and I'm going to be showing you how you can eliminate or remove pops and clicks in your audio within Adobe Audition. Now, a couple of caveats here. Uh, number one, depending on the, I guess you would say, the intensity of the pops and clicks, uh, I'm not going to guarantee that it will remove all of them every single time, but 80 to 90% of the time it will remove them to an extent to where the audio is definitely usable. Unless you're like a professional voice actor, then I would just recommend retaking the audio. All right, so here we are in Adobe Audition, and I've went ahead and and recorded some audio. Now, the biggest pop that, you know, once you get good and once you are familiar with audio wave files and waveforms, you'll be able to see what pops look like. So as you can see here, I can zoom in, I have a pop right here, and if I play it back, you can hear I've kind of clicked my fingers there to kind of mimic the pop. Now, a couple of things about what you're looking at here. Now, if your audition workspace does not look like mine, uh, I recommend you basically the one thing you have is this down here, which is going to be called the spectral frequency display. So if you go right up here in the upper left hand corner, you can see I can click and unclick that to show the spectral frequency display. And as you can see here, where there are clicks and pops, I'm able to see those very well visually here in the frequency display, and I can even drag that panel to make it even bigger to really amplify where those pops and those clicks are, okay? So now that you have the layout, kind of the way it needs to be for you to recognize where the pops and clicks are, we need to go about removing them. Now, the beauty of Audition is that it has some auto tools built in. So what I'm about to show you uh, is a very simple way. There are ways you can go in deeper into the audio and do this, but I'm gonna show you the simplest way of removing the pops and the clicks. So if we go back and we play back here now, play this audio and try to remove them. You heard right here, that's a click. I know it's a click. You can see it here in the spectral viewer here. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and highlight that area. So we can zoom in really tight there, click and hold here, and we can highlight just the pop. All right, now that we have it selected, and if you need to, you can even go down here to the uh, frequency viewer here, and the, the little hand icon, will your cursor will become the hand icon, and you can click and hold and drag this to exactly layer the selection over where the pop is. Now what I want you to do is go up to where you see favorites in the audition toolbar here, and then you're going to see something here that says auto heal. This will be Audition's attempt to remove the pop and the click itself by singling it out and removing those frequencies as opposed to your voice, okay? So again, it's not always perfect, but it normally does a great job. Now, as you can see, I have mine set to a hotkey, so I have a keyboard shortcut set to Z. Okay, you can go and you can actually apply hotkeys by going to edit and then go to right here where you see keyboard shortcuts and then just find the one that says auto heal and then make it whatever keyboard shortcut you want it to be. Okay, so what you would do is you would go to favorites and then you would just click on auto heal. Now look at that. All right, I'm going to go back. I'm going to undo that. Here's the pop and then I'm going to redo that. There it is removed. Okay, so as you can see here, here it is with the pop. Here it is without the pop. So now we're going to play this back to remove them by click. And sometimes you may even have to auto heal multiple times. So here's the big click right here. You can hear that click there. If I go and I highlight the clicked area and I kind of segment it down here in the viewer, I hit Z on my keyboard or go to favorites and then auto heal. And look at that. It removes that massive click. And I can see there's still some clicks here. So I'll highlight a little bit more of the area here and then apply the auto heal once more. And now if we play it back here in audition, I mean, listen, look at that. Listen to that. The click is removed. Another one is right here. I can see. So I'll, I'll kind of select the pop or the click here and I will go ahead and play it back to make sure that's what it is going to. Yep. That's a click. And then I'm going to go here and highlight that click kind of where I can see it here on the viewer, apply the auto heal once again, brick that I'm going to. And then as you can see and listen, that click or that pop or explosive in your audio is way, way less. It's dampened down because of the auto heal feature. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more great tech tutorials just like this, and I will see you guys in the next video.